Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 18th of 2022, and not only are we getting closer to other shows out there like Star Wars and or The Bad Batch 2, as well as let's not forget about Tales of the Jedi, but we also have a lot of other things on the horizon like Mando Season 3, the Ahsoka series, and a whole lot more for 2023. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, as of right now, we're in a very interesting time when it comes to Lucasfilm as a company. Now, we already know that Favreau recently got this big time promotion over at Lucasfilm a couple of weeks ago. We talked about this, of that allows him to essentially have a lot of creative power over all of the Star Wars projects moving forward. That includes anything that he's not even writing and or directing, including video games or books, novels, and comics, other TV shows out there that are out of his hands, are going to have creative influence by Jon Favreau from this point on forward. The only thing that remains out of that is Skeleton Crew and parts of the Acolyte series. However, when it all dwindles down to Kathleen Kennedy, there's been a lot of things happening very recently behind the scenes and exactly what it really means for Jon Favreau essentially replacing Kathleen Kennedy in a very big and unexpected way for one of the massive Star Wars TV shows. Now, on top of all of this, what's even all the more exciting about this recent development is that this is living proof that Favreau is very slowly becoming more and more prominent within Lucasfilm as a company. He already is, by the way, but he's not holding any kind of title. He's still labeled as, you know, a writer, a director, a producer. He's not a president of Lucasfilm or anything like that, even though he almost is acting like one because he's got all these different promotions that he has received for the past 12 months. Now, on top of all of this, what's even all the more exciting is that with both Disney and Lucasfilm getting ready to develop new Star Wars TV shows that will be announced at this year's D23 and Disney Plus Day, creators like Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are also prepared to make some drastic changes with the Star Wars universe behind the scenes. Now, it's described, however, that recently Jon Favreau got to replace Kathleen Kennedy in a very unexpected way for the new Star Wars TV show, The Acolyte, for the majority of the episodes and that Favreau has now taken over the role as a producer for the Acolyte series for a total of five episodes that will be credited in the upcoming series. Now this essentially means also that Favreau will not only have creative power over those episodes, but that also he is now in full control over the marketing of the Acolyte series in general. Favreau recently took over the marketing plan for the Acolyte series and that Kathleen Kennedy is no longer handling the business end of the show as Disney executives were very unhappy with her direction to promote the series by attaching a teaser to an upcoming Disney Plus series from Marvel. Favreau knew that this would not work and instead has been changing things around for the better, both financially and creatively. Favreau is now planning to introduce a full-on teaser trailer of the Acolyte with new footage by this December to the fans around the world to witness this new era of Star Wars. Favreau also wanted to make it clear to Disney executives that he is set to tease some elements of the old Republic era of the franchise in the Acolyte show as those will be used as flashbacks in the series. With Favreau now creatively involved with over half of the episodes, Leslie Headland has been forced to make some very heavy revisions to the Star Wars series. Now let me just pause here quick. The thing about this that I think a lot of fans need to be very well aware of is that Favreau basically is now acting as a producer for the entirety of the series where Kathleen Kennedy no longer is. And basically what's happening is that he has all the control over the marketing. He replaced Kathleen Kennedy in that department. He also is replacing her both financially and creatively for all of those five episodes that we talked about the other day. At first it was just creatively speaking. Now he actually has control over how the budget is going to be spent, over how much you know influence he has on negotiating with Disney executives on what they want to do with the actual Star Wars show. So... In a way, Favreau almost really is a Lucasfilm president at this point without having that president title attached to his job, right? So that's the thing here is that 
With all these promotions that John got, I almost begin to wonder if this was intentional by Disney to really kind of give him a lot of influence over the Star Wars stories without making him president so that he could not sacrifice his time on writing these new shows and developing all these new shows, etc. To be honest, I think that this is a great plan to move forward because we already know that Disney is formulating a plan to completely get rid of Kathleen Kennedy before her contract expires in 2024. They already have two candidates that have a lot of interest in this. We're not quite sure who they are, other than the fact that they are two big-time Hollywood producers that are very big Star Wars fans. So we'll find out more about that later on in the year. However, this brings us to this moment right now, is that... With, of course, Favreau taking over the big parts of the story, it's likely to have a massive improvement than before Favreau and Lucas came on board to fix things. Kennedy is currently very angry over the fact that Favreau took over and replaced Kathleen Kennedy with the marketing of the series. Favreau already informed Disney executives that this plan is to also put out teaser clips of the Acolyte on the internet to hype the fans for the full teaser before the holiday season. Lucas is also described to be managing Leslie Headland and her direction with the Acolyte by telling her what to erase from the script and what to keep in. Currently, the Acolyte is going under an extreme change that will make it more appealing to the fan base. Now, Disney CEO Bob Chapek has also been very unhappy with many of the changes and is satisfied with his decision of Favreau replacing Kathleen Kennedy for the marketing of the Acolyte and acting as a producer now for those five episodes that will change everything for the story. Kennedy, although, still holds power over four episodes to this day and is likely to even lose more if she makes more setbacks and problems for the series and the Disney executives. So let's be clear about all of this, and I just want to make one thing, you know, very apparent to a lot of fans out there is that Favreau is now getting a producer credit to five total episodes of The Accolade. That's a big deal, because to this day, Kathleen Kennedy was always a producer with Star Wars, always a producer with the Star Wars movies, the Star Wars TV shows before in the past. You know, we're talking about The Mandalorian Season 1 and so on and so forth. But even though she lost her creative power back in mid-2020 to late 2020, uh, we've seen a lot of change because Favreau was able to do more of what he wanted to do in Mando 2 and now with Mando 3 without any Kathleen Kennedy influence period I think it's going to be an even better experience to tell you guys the truth and Ahsoka, you know, the Ahsoka series is another prime example because that too is going to be 100% Dave Filoni with the help of Jon Favreau and I think that might even make it even better because Filoni did a fantastic job with Luke in the Book of Boba Fett. That was really a lot of his influence, and sure, uh, some people may complain that it took away the focus on the Book of Boba Fett show, but let's be honest. I mean, that series to me was very half and half, and if it weren't for Luke, Ahsoka, Din, and Grogu coming in, I'm not quite sure if the Book of Boba ratings would be standing where they are right now. I'm not quite sure, you know, so... Overall, guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. Everything related to Favreau taking over Kathleen Kennedy as a producer for those episodes. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>